Hi everybody, uh, have a look behind me here, we've got a Grand California 680, uh, I've just taken this in here, uh, so I thought we'd have a walk around, uh, to one video of that, show you what it's like for example, and what features on. The 680 is quite a rare old beast, obviously it's big for the size of it, you know, that's 6.8 uh, metres in length. We don't tend to see so many of these on the road, and I'm not sure why that is, uh, I think people who have them tend to keep them, uh, and not moving them around so much, so you don't tend to find so much. Uh, when I had a look earlier on today on Auto Trader, there's none on there at all at the moment. Plenty the 600s but not so many of the 680s uh, but I would say this is probably just as popular as the 600 version uh, for the people that want to use it because this is kind of your grand tourer so it's a two berth vehicle uh, it can carry four and there's seating for four people in there but uh, bed wise it is for, for two people uh, but you can certainly get away with these and use it and use it as it's intended to uh, this particular vehicle here it's not quite three years old it's nearly three years old uh, done 30,000 miles so it's been used uh, so I'm going to talk you through it have a look at it we've not given it a full full clean yet uh, and the reason for that as well is we're going to do a separate video and we're going to have a look at some of the things if you're looking for a used vehicle for example uh, little things that we do once they come in etc uh, things to look out for uh, that's there as well so we'll get into that good stuff as well so first things first let's go and have a look and the big thing first off before anything else is the size of this thing i like on the 680 as well because the roof lining as you can see from up here so it's got the extra high roof the super high roof that's on here aesthetically outside of it as well it looks very very similar to uh, your motorhome type style that's on here uh, so obviously we've got windows down the side so we've got one on both sides here uh, across and here we'll have a look inside at the moment and then windows down at the back as well for the back to let uh, light in so things that are standard obviously things like for example the alloy wheels this one's got mud flaps uh, on the uh, on the vehicle as well as an option one of the options this vehicle does have it has got the diesel heater option uh, that's in here as well so uh, rather than the, uh, the the boiler system running off gas uh, it runs off the diesel tank uh, which seems quite a popular option on uh, the 680s as well that come here so see we've got our cassette uh, toilet that's in there so nice and easy to use comes straight out and then back here we've got our electrical socket which goes in on the side that's on there as well and then coming around to the back uh, normal things on the back of the vehicle so we've got things like our parking sensors along the back that's on here obviously our grand california badge we've got our two windows in the back doors here which is really nice when you're in bed because you can see out uh, from the side of it and i open up the, uh, the back of it that's on here we've seen these things before at the handle so we've got our two chairs which are in the side here and our table uh, and as you can see, obviously this chair just come straight out of there. And as we go, one chair, all looking good. Uh, and they go straight back in, in there and are locked in place. It's uh, things like our awning rail, where it's located up at the top, that's on there as well. And then all of our storage that's in here. So we've got our storage cupboards for gas. Uh, so obviously because this has got the diesel heater you wouldn't carry two gas bottles in here you probably just have one uh, and you might even have a smaller one that's in this you've got extra storage space storage space there that's on the side obviously it's got the cut through going through into there and we've got our shower connection on the back here so we've got it on there uh, nice little one from that as well <laughs> we can see for the previous customer he's put on and off in red like that that's very very good um, note to Volkswagen maybe that's something you should put on the on the rear one from the factory a little on and off because people do often ask and wonder which way it is so uh, I like that nice little touch that's there we won't be taking that off I'll leave that on uh, when we sell the vehicle and then obviously we've got our electrical sockets in here as well uh, with our main and our other socket in the side let's move on around the side of the vehicle around this side uh, so obviously on this side from on here as you said we've talked about the mud flaps there uh, we've got our water container that's in here to put our water in uh, there and then our big awning that's on the side of the vehicle here which comes out which is great uh, we've got our light above the doors we would normally have um, and our window here as we said before and then our big sliding door which gives us access then into the actual vehicle itself so while we're out here as well just mentioned obviously we've got the fridge here which is a pull out one uh, so this comes all the way out from on here we've got our fridge you've got your tray and importantly on the ground we've got our freezer compartment as well for those of you who haven't seen a a grand one for a while so we've got freezer section in there as well we've got our switches our sockets extension for the top we can pull this down we've got plug sockets and usb as well so you can have things on the outside of the vehicle so in the main section here in the, in the compartment obviously we've got the seats turned around here so it gives us our 
our big seating area that's in here to sit down uh, on either side of these as well that's on here. Obviously we've got our table up in the middle uh, that's, that's here as well. Um, I get some people as well pop in the comments box below but a lot of people actually do prefer a slightly smaller table. Uh, obviously this table is the same which is in this model and in the other one but with this particular vehicle as it only sleeps two people nine times ten when you actually are out unless you're having friends around for example there would be two so i do know people who've got a smaller table which only comes to about here uh, and then obviously just gives them a lot more room that's in here so if two of you are having dinner for example and you're sitting opposite each other uh, you can do that as well so a few different combinations if you've got a grand and you've got a smaller table in send me a photo if you would and then i can send that on to uh, somebody else lots of people tell me and i keep forgetting to actually ask somebody to uh, send me a photo so i can show you what a smaller version of the table will be so it's like a cut down version uh, of one of these uh, just to give you that bit of extra space so you're not moving around because obviously you know if that's there for example you've still got your your walkway through uh, but obviously this is designed if somebody was sitting here so they'd be eating as well but as i said if this is a two berth one not so important uh, to do that that's in there so anyway uh, seating wise from on here so these are our seats we've got extra storage space up here to go so up here at the moment we've got our screens for the windows and things like that each of the windows on here has got screen in for fly screen and also for the actual uh, blackout on that basis and that goes for every window in the in the camping compartment section so even your skylights have exactly the all same three uh, this is quite good if you want just a bit more privacy if you put the netting in because it does make it a little bit darker uh, but as I said you can bring that out and to let a bit more light uh, that's in the vehicle so, uh, so this is your seating area that's here if I get up and have a look We've got extra storage that's in here, a uh, huge area. You'll be amazed what you can get in there, uh, in that space in the top section that's in there. Obviously a bit of a net to uh, make sure it doesn't fall out. Got more storage here and here uh, to drop things into if you need that extra bit that's in there. And storage as well underneath in your pockets underneath. You can see that's in there as well in your door cards, so extra space. Uh, to put those in as well. Quite a popular option, we've talked about TVs on Grand California, uh, above the headrest over here seems to be quite a popular option because obviously you can sit and relax in your two captain chairs on the side, get your, your armrests out and if you want to watch TV in the evening for example you can put it up there. Uh, some people for example have it on the on the side if that's what you want to do on one of these longer toy ones. You can just use an iPad and just have it on the seat or on the side as well to watch that. Got extra sockets down underneath here as well, so you've got your 240 sockets down in here and you've also got all your vents as well for your heating system which comes out so you can keep you nice and warm. Mm -hmm. 